Hey guys, I'm all about being prepared. Um, I feel that a little bit of preparation goes a very long way. Now that's good. Uh, some caffeine in it, a lot of fruit and protein whey. That's going to get me started for the day. Speaking of getting started for the day, sometimes breakfast, if we're too busy, we do we shortcut breakfast. We have sugary cereals, we eat out, we do the uh, uh, breakfast sandwiches from our local coffee shop. But there's an easy way to prep for breakfast, what, normally when I cook breakfast from scratch, I have a frying pan for my eggs. I don't, um, I don't use baking fat for eggs. I use this coconut oil. Coconut oil is organic. Um, it doesn't have a lot of the trans fats. It's really good for you and it adds energy uh, for your day. So at the uh, end of my morning, I have two dishes to wash. Um, when I do my bacon and my eggs and my toast and my orange juice and my coffee and my smoothie. Um, so I'm going to help you shortcut that today. The skillet is all we need and we're going to do several weeks of food. I usually do two packets of um, bacon every time I do this. You can do two, three, four, you can do it way in advance. People can't pay good money for pre-cooked bacon and I'm going to show you an easy way to store it and do it today. Start by cooking your bacon any way you prefer. You might want to use the oven, you might use a smaller frying pan. I like the skillet because I get a lot more on. Can you smell that? While that cooks, I'm going to prep the next step. The only other dish you're going to use today, um, well, for baking purposes, I'm just going to use a plate and put a few layers of paper towel at the bottom to absorb the grease. Now you're going to want to cook these up until they're just about done. Um, if you like them crispy, just before it turns crispy. If you don't like them crispy, make sure they're cooked thoroughly through, but you don't want to cook it fully yet. It's going to be cooked fully when it reheats in the microwave or even on the frying pan. Bacon. Good boy. You're going to want to cut wax paper to the shape of your container. Here I have some already prepared. Uh, because of the wax paper I can easily pull this out and flop it into my frying pan. We're going to set this aside for now. So at this point it's pretty simple. You put a layer down We've let the bacon cool off a bit, and I just space out what I would normally eat in a morning. Now, if you like using these for um, salads, I uh, like using uh, bacon and Caesar salad, you can do that too. Um, I like, I'm a four bacon person. If my wife wants some, I'll just use three in a row and... Uh, if I know that my wife and I are going to make one, I'll just do a row of three and a row of four. And you just keep on alternating your paper 
with your bacon. So now you take your little care package, you stick it in the freezer, like so, like so, like so, <laughs> and then you don't have to worry about it. The next morning when you want to get ready for breakfast, you can start your eggs any way you want it. You take your plate of a bacon, stick it in the microwave, put it on for about 30 seconds and uh, watch the magic. As you can see it crisped, crisped up a bit. It's a perfect temperature um, and again if, if I wanted to just actually cut these up cold and uh, throw them into my Caesar salad. Um, put them onto your uh, hot, uh, hamburger or hot dogs. Um, eat them with bacon or just eat them Did you enjoy that, Joe? Of course you enjoyed it, because it was bacon. Do I have grease on my face? Ha. Oh. Hey, Joe. Let's hope the wife doesn't watch this video, eh? Yeah. Clean it up. Clean up the floor. <laughs> if you like these tips, um, check back to uh, my channel, Tornado Productions, <laughs> and uh, um, look for more tips from Matthew Kennedy, Tornado Productions, um, and little Joseph here. Right? Do we got tips for you? Nope. Apparently not. Have a great day, guys.